This is a video to show the sim competence interval simulator. At this point, Java will not run on Chrome anymore. So I was able to get it to run on an inter Internet Explorer. And that's worth a try, but if you can't get it to run, here's a video to show how it works. The simulator takes a population with a mean of 50, 50 and a standard deviation of 10. So showing two standard deviations in either direction. From this population, it then takes random samples. The size of the random sample can be set here to be 10, 15, or 20. And it will take 300 different random samples. And from those, it'll each sample it will generate two confidence intervals, a 95% and a 99%. And it'll do all that instantly with the click of a button. Something that to do by hand would be very, very time consuming. What we're going to do is see how often the confidence interval contains the population mean, which in a real problem, this would be the number we wanted to know. This 50 would be unknown, and we would be trying to estimate what it is. There we go. Each one of these little colored horizontal line segments is two confidence intervals from the same sample. The part in the middle, the yellow or red, is the 95% confidence interval. And when it's yellow, that means that the 95% confidence interval contains the population mean, such as the top one. You can see that the line does go right through the yellow part. Whereas for the red ones, you can see that the line does not go through the middle part. Um, you can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red ones. So that's seven out of 300, or 93% of the time, the confidence interval does contain the population mean, which is what we'd want. And this number, as you get a, more and more samples, would go to 95%, but it's pretty close. The blue extensions make these full length into a 99% confidence interval. And when it's outside of that, the blue turn white. So the blue and white are just extensions that make the whole thing a 99% confidence interval. When you see white, that means that it did not include the 99%. And that happened two times here, right? Two times out of, oh, there's just 100 of them. I'm not sure, I was saying 300. There's just 100 confidence intervals here, which is good because we think in terms of percentages, so you can actually count those and figure that out. So 2 out of 100, uh, which means the other 98 all worked, so 98% of those worked. Um, perhaps by taking the sample size up, we can get the proportion contained to actually match the confidence level. Uh, because the proportion contained should equal the confidence level as the number of samples goes to infinity. And that's sort of the definition of <clears throat> the confidence level is as the number of samples gets larger and larger, that's how many out of every hundred will actually contain the population mean. And you notice that when we did that, going to sample size going up, it also improved this. So we got 98.5% and 93.5%. Okay, so if you have any questions about that, just let me know.